Hello everyone! Today we're looking at the Harp of Yopa Redux mod, and I think this is a really cool idea for a mod. I'm surprised it hasn't been done sooner, and I'm surprised I haven't covered it sooner. Real quick, before we get to that, if you want to consider hitting that like and subscribe button, I am so close to 100,000 subs that this video could be the one that does it if enough of you hit that sub button. It wouldn't even take that many. Anyways, back to the mod in question, the Harp of Yopa Redux mod, which is quite a mouthful. Now once this mod is installed, how it works, you check your mail, after you've cleared out the 10 years worth of backlog mail you have, and it gets sent to you. Dear Gerard, I hope you're doing well. Your grandpa would have wanted me to give you his old harp. Maybe you can play for him from time to time. I didn't get to play it much since you left. Love dad. P.S. I wrote the notes to your favorite birthday melody tune on the back. And you take it. Now you have the harp of Yoba. And I have it again sent in the mail, I think because I installed it really wrong the first few times. Basically what had happened is I kept getting sent wood in the mail. They said it was a harp, but it was a piece of wood. All I had to do was update Smappy though, so that was an easy fix. And I really like already how in the letter it ties it back to the story of the game. It was Grandpa's originally sent from Dad. It doesn't just somehow appear here. It actually ties into the game, which is really nice because the game itself has a very nice story. Now taking a look at the harp itself, the harp of Yopa is a tool. It currently has the birthday sonata selected in it. Now you can put different songs into it as you receive them. And the way this works is it's kind of like Ocarina of Time, the Zelda game for Nintendo 64 if you guys remember. You get different songs and they have different effects in different places. They do different things. Some of them are very handy. Now what the current one does, the birthday sonata, is if you play it to someone on their birthday it raises their heart level by one. And wouldn't you know, it's Mump's birthday in two days so he's gonna get a birthday song whether he wants it or not. Now on the flip side of things, Mump's is an ex-husband so I don't know if that's gonna work or not being that he is an ex-husband but we're gonna try it anyway, two days away. And look at this little thing, it doesn't even have a birthday. That's how useless it is. Clearly it's a sign that it's Mum's birthday because there's a coffee from the Statue of Endless Fortune. Always gives you the gift of whoever's birthday it is. I'm gonna drink that on the way to see him, that way I get there faster. Well alright, his door should be open, I've noticed that for your divorcees, you can open the door with any heart level. Now to be able to hear the music you actually have to have your sound volume on, your music volume in particular. I normally have it off for recording purposes. This probably will still be a little bit quiet to you, but let's give this a try. One divorce down, ten to go. Okay, I want to play my song. This is what the song sounds like. I'm assuming they all sound different and they all do different things. Now did that work? Did he hear it? And just like that, after that sweet little melody, he goes all the way to the top of my list because he's the only person I've ever talked to. One heart, mum's the ex-husband. Now, unfortunately, you get one of the songs after you complete the community center, but I kind of did that, so I don't know if that's going to count or not. We're going to skip a day or two and then check the mail and see if we get a new song. If not, we have to do one of the other events that triggers it. And that's the way you do it. After certain events, people will send you songs, depending on who they are and what event it was. There are, I'm not sure how many, between 5 and 10 different songs. I think there's closer to 10. And they all do wonderful things. I'm not even checking the mail today. We're going to wait for tomorrow. Alright, do we get a song for having a community center done? That is the harp once again. I don't need that. I don't need that. Uh, it seems to give me a new one every day. Dear Gerard, someone dropped your tools into the lost and found bin last night. Where's the lost and found bin? I feel like I should go through that. And here's a new song. Uh, Haley, I wrote a song for your animals. I hope they like it. Haley. Well, they like it more than they like you. And another one. I wrote a song for your animals. Hope they like it. Okay. Haley, I got it the first time. Thank you. I know you're not that quick, but come on. Haley again. Anything new? And Haley again. I'm not sure why I'm endlessly getting Haley mail. That's kind of annoying. Didn't know she knew how to write that many letters. Now what this one does, Animals Aria, beloved by farm animals, is pets all the animals within the area. So if you have a barn full of animals, you just walk in, play this, they all get pet. It saves you having to wander around and pet each and every one of them. I don't have a barn. The closest thing I have to animals are a kid and they don't even qualify because they're worse. So I'm going to try it on my horse. I'm going to play it kind of right here and maybe it'll pet the dog too while I'm at it. Music volume back to full. Let's see if it's going to do it. What does it sound like? It's a nice peaceful one. Which is kind of cool. The last one is a little more upbeat, more like a birthday song. This one just the animals like. Does it work? Oh, I can't even pet the horse. That was kind of a bad idea. And the dog doesn't count. But if you were in a barn surrounded by animals, they would all enjoy that. Now, you may have noticed from that original letter, it said if you play a grandpa's songs, 
Well, that's because you can play grandpa's songs. And I use that term kind of loosely because grandpa ain't around so much. He somehow did not live as long as George, which has always been confusing to me because George ain't doing so well. But if we play him some songs right here, he actually stops being a completely useless dead person and sends you something to help. And you're rewarded with a nice little ping sound at the end to let you know that it worked. There we are, number two. That's all you gotta do, play him two songs. Then you should get something in the mail the next day. And I can't wait, and I'm sure Haley's gonna get excited and send me another letter because she's stupid. We definitely do have mail, but that doesn't really mean anything yet. You killed more than 100 monsters, well done. Here's a song of our guild. Play it with pride, Marlin. Okay, we get a song for killing 100 monsters apparently. And Marlin's a musician, so thank you. Adventurers Allegro. And okay, we get the mail again. I'm assuming we're kind of getting the amount of days we played since we started the mod in the mail, which is kind of weird. And I don't have any mail. Okay, well, maybe it's another day then for the next one. So what does the Adventure as Allegro do, you ask? Well, of course, it has to do with fighting monsters in the mines. Because the songs obviously tie into events in which you get them. So you get this one for killing 100 monsters. Now what it does is restores health and stamina and gives you a short speed boost once a day. So if you'll direct your eyes to the bottom right of the screen, you'll see I am low on health, 50 out of 125, and energy is 324 out of 406. Now let's listen to some more sweet music. This one's kind of got a funky techno beat. All right, and my health and stamina back to full. And I get a speed boost of I don't know how big. I am moving slightly faster. I think that's a plus one speed boost, so the equivalent of coffee. And it only lasts for one minute, but that's still a pretty good boost. And I turn into kind of a Super Saiyan, I go blonde. That's actually a cool looking effect, I really like that. So there you go. If you're down and out in the mines, fear not. More stamina, more energy, more health, and you get to run around a little quicker, plus look cool while doing it. Even this isn't enough of a boost to beat the mighty Pam. Well let's see if stupid lazy grandpa is energetic enough to send us this today. I know he's dead and all, it's an empty letter with notes scribbled on the back. I have no idea what this one is, Farmer's Lullaby. Okay, that is the one from grandpa. So that works out pretty good. You don't have any more mail. Hey, at least he got it right. He only sent me one letter. Looking at you, Haley. This one, you probably want to listen to it. Farmer's Lullaby, Stand on Fertile Ground. Well, I got that covered. That just means hoed ground. If you're a little slow, hoe the ground before you play this song. Then we get to hear it. What did Grandpa write for us? From Beyond the Grave. This one actually sounds familiar. I think that's close to something in the game. And what it does is plants nine random seeds in the field. And this one I actually really like because you could just play this once a day. It'll plant you some seeds. I don't know what they are. We can make those grow pretty quick and see what happens. And yes, that is only once a day. A lot of these are. Some of them you can use multiple times and they have a diminishing effect. Because obviously they want to make the game more interesting and add something. They don't want to break it. Now what are these seeds? I don't know what these are. Winter roots. Okay, thanks grandpa. You gave us something we can find lying around the ground. Always appreciate it. There's a reason you didn't cut it in this world, and apparently you're not very good at the next one. But I guess they're probably worth a little money. We'll just go ahead and sell everything, because I don't really care. I'm kind of really upset about not having the community center done the proper way, because I don't think I'm going to get the song, and that song is one of the better ones for sure. No mail today, so I'm assuming that yeah, if you do the Joja Mart, this song doesn't trigger, which sucks, because what that one does is it teleports you from one location to another. Do you know how much I hate walking? A lot. I don't even ride my horse around anymore, I just cheat to teleport. We do still have more to see though. We get one after doing George's house event, so it says, and I assume that all of George's heart events are house events because, well, he's George. I mean, how far can he go? Now, using my very cautious uh, relationship building tool, I'm going to move him just a little bit up. There we go. We can now officially get married. And oh yeah, it's not open yet. Oh wait, yes it is. Hi, good morning, George. I'm assuming this is it. He's stuck by the bookcase. We don't need to see what's actually going on here. We just need to live through a few of these and then we can get the mail tomorrow, hopefully. And did this one... Oh, okay, I thought there was another heart event. Never mind, that should do it. Now, if my theory is correct, this will be from George. Dear Gerard, thank you for listening to an old fool like me. I found the melody of one of the songs we used to sing in the mines to pass the time. Sadly, I can't play it anymore. Would you play with your legs? Anyways, this is the Rondo of Time. Note the time, it is currently 6.30 when I started playing. I think it's supposed to be like a mining sound in the background. I like that. And it's now 8.30, so what this one does, once you play it, it skips ahead two hours. Which is really cool, because there's not really a lot of mods that change the time. A few of them do, but to give you an option like this in the game would be really cool. 
I feel like this mod adds a really cool multi-tool to the game that can do a whole bunch of different things, but you have to earn and unlock every piece of that and use the ones that really fit your playstyle. This one would be handy for me because I usually wake up in the morning and I don't have anything to do because everything's so automated, so it'd be nice to skip time to when people's houses are open. Conveniently enough, you do get a song rewarded by the wizard when you play a song to the wizard on his birthday. And guess what day it is tomorrow? I couldn't have timed this any better. It's the wizard's birthday. That's right. Do you know what my favorite part about the wizard is? His door is open at such long hours, he's always available. Good morning, idiot. It takes years of study to understand the language of the elementals. Or just long enough to the point where you go senile and you just think you know everything. Alright, let's hear that birthday medley one more time. No, no, play it. There we are. I'm not even facing him while I play it. I just have no respect for the wizard. And his heart of, uh, thing went up one. You can see the heart over his head there. Didn't notice that before. There we are. So does he say anything? Now if you'll excuse me. Oh, I guess he didn't like it. Right. So now he should be able to sleep on it and he should mail me. Uh, it's funny that a wizard uses the mail. You'd think he'd use some kind of magic to give me something, but he doesn't. And there is George one more time giving me a letter. This would be the one. Figured I'd give you this recipe. Recipe I had laying around. Oh, this is fried eel from George. Never mind. I made a friend accidentally. And that's not it either. That's a secret friend thing. Uh, here we go. Greetings, young adept. I have enclosed in this package an item of arcane significance. Use it wisely. For this one, we need to go back to the mines. And I need to actually select it right there. Just like a fishing rod. Already getting quite a collection going. I've got six. Now let's go find some monsters to uh, play with. This one, when used correctly, you play it, hopefully not taking damage. It actually freezes time for a sec. There's the mining music, and I'm not sure why we can't hear the harp music right now. Unless this is the music I'm playing. It turns all monsters into the same type of monster. I guess that was the music. It just gives you some like mining combat music. So yeah, anyways, it randomly turns all the enemies in the area into one type of enemy. So now they're all these tin head things, which is kind of neat. I'm not sure if there's any practical use. I guess if it turns it into an easier to kill monster, sure. And while we're at it, let's take a look at one more. This one you get after you do Abigail's mountain scene. Abigail, also if you don't know, is maybe actually the daughter of the wizard. There's a whole theory on that. Go look it up if you're interested. I won't get into it now. So let's go ahead and do the whole uh, I'm your friend now thing. Do the mountain scene which I'm not sure when it triggers actually, might have to be later in the day. I can't think of what one that is. Uh, 12 p.m. Right down the middle. Is that going to work? Nope. Okay, I'm actually going to have to look into this one. Be right back. Abigail's heart event happens between noon and 7 p.m. on a rainy day. Guess what doesn't happen in winter? Rain. I'm actually going to see if I can force this one through because I can actually make it rain in winter because yeah, I'm that good. Bet you've never seen a rain in winter before. I'd be really surprised if this actually works, but I just can't help but wonder. Sometimes you just gotta try things. And negative. Unless it's referring to this area up here as the mountains, I'm not really sure. Sometimes I get these confused. Normally this is called the bathhouse or spa area. Well, since that didn't work, guess what I get to do? Skip 10 days and get to winter, spring, whatever month. The rainy second of spring today. And I would say I hope Abigail is worth it, but I know that Abigail is never worth it. Regardless, we're gonna go through this. Because what we get from this event might be my favorite song of all. And it's very wonderful. She's already playing a flute, so that's kind of fitting. And goodbye. It's been nice talking to you for the first time ever. I went ahead and skipped two days there because it was raining yesterday and I don't like the rain. Now let's see if Abigail can write. Uh, that's the wizard again. Uh, whoops. In. Oh, that was her. Oh, I totally missed it. Does that count? Do I have to restart the day? Oh, here it is. Okay. I love playing with you in the rain. We should do that again sometime. I wrote the note to our song in the back of this letter. See you soon. Oh, that's clever. It actually incorporated a hard event because you do play a song with her in the rain. That is the Serenade of Thunder. Rain on me is what it says. And that is pretty literally what it does. This one, of course, once you play it, makes it rain on you. A nice slow paced song. And here comes the rain and it actually waters a huge area. I didn't think it would be that big. Wow, that's why this one is probably my favorite. You can see the edge there, it didn't quite water that space there, but that is probably the same size as the Scarecrow would water. Now you can use this multiple times a day. The second one is not as big, so we're gonna find out exactly how big the second one is. All right, we got a little bigger of a test area. Let's see what happens. Playing, 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 and it rained, and okay, we get a smaller shape. Still pretty big though. 
That's why I would like this one, because that doesn't take any energy, it waters a whole big area to save you doing a bunch of crop. And that would fit nicely with the Scarecrow. I'm pretty sure the first one you do is going to be the same size as the Scarecrow, so if I do it roughly here, it should meet the end. And there is a cooldown on this harp, as you may have noticed, it's like 6... I don't know what they are, 6 super seconds you might call it, because it's definitely not a second. Alright, here we go again, one more try. I assume that every time you use it after the first one, they're all the same size, roughly the size of that one. Here comes the rain, yes, exactly the same size. So that's really handy, I really like this one. On that note though, I'm not going to cover any more of the songs, there are still a few more out there that I didn't get to, but I gotta leave something for you guys to play with, and if you want to know, just go look it up, it's that easy. I'll link the mod in the description of this video, just click down below, and you can see everything you want to see. I really do like this mod though, like I said, they incorporated a lot of the existing game elements to tie into this, which is really nice, whoever made this mod was obviously a fan of the game. And this one doesn't necessarily feel like a mod, it just feels like an additional tool you can get. It's not like it just hands you everything you want, you have to work towards these things. They don't have some insane game breaking power, they help. But not so much that they're really going to change the outcome of the game. They would be quite helpful, like I said, you can water crops a little bit easier, pet all the animals easier, potentially teleport everywhere if you can actually do the community center. So this is a really well done mod, I think they put a lot of thought into this, and the result is good. And I apologize if the volume, the music in this is a little bit screwy because I was turning the music on and off so I don't know how I'm going to edit that into anything nice. So if it's kind of iffy, I apologize. And if you haven't seen my channel before, go ahead and check it out. Tons of other videos in there just like this. New videos up every day, all the time. Keep it up with the good ideas, games, suggestions, whatever, whatever. And I hope you liked it. I'll see you all next time.